Welcome back to the Focus Attack Tech Corner. We know we've been gone for a while, but we want to make our return by doing a quick video on how to install art on the 14.5 inch All Fight Sticks housing. We are now printing art for the AFS line and want to supplement customer purchases with this video. We know that customization is a very popular thing in the arcade stick hobby, so it's our job to keep you as informed as possible. We can't wait to see what submissions the community gives us going forward. I personally expect lots of great things out of all of you. That said, I won't delay any further. Let's get to it. Focus Attack art prints are broken down into two parts. The art print itself and then its accompanying plexi cover. It's important to have both, of course. Without art, you have no customization. Without plexi, you can't protect your customization. Though both our art and plexi cuts are pretty resilient, I highly recommend being delicate with the product as it is still possible to damage it prior to install if you aren't careful. The print before you has already had the button inserts removed, whereas one shipped from our store will come with them attached. They pop out quite easily, so I recommend removing them in advance. Be sure to save them if you are putting them in your button caps. But for now, let's just keep both parts shown here together. Let's start by removing the upper lever shaft and six control panel hex screws. Those that have been following this video series for some time now are probably already familiar with the ins and outs of this case, but we've included a speed teardown of the housing as a refresher. I highly encourage new viewers to check out the fourth Tech Corner video if they are not using a link quick release unit as shown here. Beyond this point assumes that you already know how to remove your lever shaft, and once again, this part of the video is sped up for your convenience. With the screws in the upper lever shaft removed, it's time to carefully remove the upper panel. Depending on your wiring situation inside, you'll want to do this slowly, as you do not want to damage any of the wires going to your push buttons. This is a great moment to take a photo of your wiring before making any changes, as you'll want to remember the proper way to reconnect the wires. Disconnect all 8 push buttons, which totals 16 connections, with as much care as possible. Some quick disconnects are more stubborn than others, so do be careful. It's best to wiggle the quick disconnect at the actual connector, whereas pulling on the cables themselves can damage or break them. Once the cables are free, you can unscrew or squeeze out the push buttons, depending on whether you purchase screw-in or snap-fit buttons. All eight buttons need to be removed. With all those steps completed, you should end up with something that looks like this. Though it isn't pretty now, we will fix that here momentarily, I promise. Set the housing aside and let's focus on the upper panel. This part is pretty straightforward. Take the art print, which should be prepared for use already, and lay it flat on top of the upper panel. Assuming you have kept your plexi cut close by, go ahead and lay it on top of the art, sandwiching the art in between the metal panel and the plexi panel. You should have a much more pleasant product already, but we aren't quite finished. The next step is to reinstall your push buttons, while taking care to ensure that all three parts of the panel stay aligned. In the case of the gamer finger buttons that I'm using here, if you're anything like me, you'll probably spend some time adjusting their alignment to your liking. Take your time, as it's better to get it correct the first time instead of having to go back and fix small issues. Return the panel to the arcade housing. Looks better now, doesn't it? But wait! Before we forget, all the push buttons need to be plugged back in. You still have the picture you took, right? Now is the time to use it or whatever sort of reminder you have kept for yourself.
With everything reconnected, we can now move to secure the upper panel and return it to its proper place. Go ahead and reinstall all six of the hex screws that came with the case, in the upper lever shaft. Since many of you have seen this before, once again, this is sped up for your convenience. Once the hex screws are seated, however, be sure to tighten them enough to where they don't rattle loose. But don't go too crazy, a little goes a long way. Another job well done and one for the books. Your new artwork should now be securely installed. We're really excited to bring support for AFS to hobbyists. We hope you enjoy it as much as we have. Until next time though everyone, I think I'm going to find some matches to play.